Bethesda is a wonderful, exciting place to be. I would describe Bethesda as a different place, a new place where you can be yourself here, you can do whatever you want here, experience a place to be, something new. I would say that it's an otherworldly experience from countless high schools that, that, that are out there. It has been a um, definitely a different journey and I'm, I wish that many kids my age could experience this. It doesn't even feel like school, if I'm being honest. It's kind of like, I don't want to say a summer camp, but it's kind of like a summer camp. Yeah, there's definitely a brotherhood aspect of Bethesda. Kind of everyone knows everyone. In most high schools, it's like, oh, look, those are the seniors, but you'll never talk to them. In this one, like, even the middle schoolers know all the seniors. All the, uh, all the juniors know each other. All the sophomores know each other. All the freshmen know each other. Everyone knows everyone. and. For better or for worse, we all we all try to get along. The Brotherhood to Bethesda, it means like a lot to me because it's like, you they've really shown me how we can create bonds, build bonds with everyone that's here, even in the short amount of time I was here. How everyone's just family pretty much, and everyone helps each other. The Brotherhood at Bethesda, I honestly, I came in and everyone, it was a warm welcome, everyone welcomed me in. One staff member I'd like to thank is Miss Duclos. Because I wouldn't have been graduating without passing her class. And I've been struggling. I would like to thank Miss Kicklider, Mr. Harn, and Mr. Kilgore. Koji has to be my number one teacher, Miss Duclos. She, uh, she always like helped me. When I, if I didn't know what to do, she would teach in another way so I could learn how to know what to do. Miss Tia Atkins, she was always there for me, always helped me with my project. No matter what I need help with, she was there. Probably Miss Duclos, because she helped me out a lot last year. I love all my teachers, but Miss Carpenter and Mr. Harn and Miss Pineda, they just, those are my dogs, right there. they just always have my back. I want to thank everybody, but, uh, Miss Duclos definitely has like helped me a lot, and um, same as Pineda. And um, I mean, really, every teacher has given me the benefit of the doubt. So I want to thank everybody. I would like to thank Miss Pineda because she's just so nice. I would love to thank Dr. Hughes. He's been here a lot, you know. I've always I've talked to him, you know. He always in the hallway, zoo, <laughs> and uh, you know. Thank you, Dr. Hughes. Thank you. My plan after graduation is to join the workforce with my dad and help him run his business. After graduating, I will attend USCB for my degree in early childhood education. My plans after graduation are to go to Savannah Tech for technical engineering. After graduation, I've been accepted into SCAD through a full ride scholarship and I'm going to pursue graphic designing. I want to go to the Air National Guard but I also want to go to college through the Air National Guard, go to Kennesaw State and study and major in computer science. I plan on having my own lawn care business and expanding it into the future. After graduation, I'm trying to get into the YES program and I already applied and I'm waiting for a response. My plans after graduation is to go in the YES Plus program with the Ports. I'm heading to UNG, the University of North Georgia, up in Athens, and I'm gonna study uh, pre-law. I plan on going to Georgia Ports for the YES program. Opportunity that Bethesda has given me would be dual enrollment, which is the opportunity to participate in college classes while I'm still in high school, and it's gonna give me a push that I need going into college. I already have like maybe three-fourths of a semester knocked out for college. Um, it's, it's just a great opportunity to get ahead and get some extra credits. It's definitely given me a bit more of a head start that I'm glad to have. Piece of advice I'll never forget from Mr. Harn is to put in your work in the present so it pays off in the future. Coach Clell has given me a lot of advice since I've been here. He always tell me to be myself, 
and I have a gift, and if I don't use it, no one else will. A lot of the advice I've been given mainly came from Mr. Mingendorf and Colonel Ken and Miss Carpenter, who all kind of told me to stay humble and work on work on getting something as close to perfect as you can before you, you know, put it out there into the world. A piece of advice I will always take with me would be um, from my coach, Antoine Turner. It doesn't matter how you start, but it's how you finish. This advice came from his do close. Don't ever second guess yourself. Always put 100% into your work. My favorite lunch item is the chicken cordon bleu. Bacon hamburger. Probably the wings. Probably the shrimp at a fit. I have like 20 favorites. We'd be here for too long if I listed all my favorites. I'm trying to pick like just one or two to talk about. <laughs> wings and fries. Just hash browns. But that doesn't mean a lot to me. It means that I'm always gonna be an alumni here. I always got people I could come back to, ask questions. It means that no matter where I go, they always gonna be in contact with me. It means courage, it means being able to do what you can, like being able to do at everything at 100%, never quitting. It's a good you know, experience to know like you could go down the hallway and just see a friend wave, be nice and stuff like that, and not have to worry about nobody fighting or nothing like that. That's another thing about Bethesda. Everybody is cool with everybody. It's kind of like a second chance and a restart and something to, um, you know, just put me on the path, on a, on a good path. In my case, it was, a, it was a fresh start. Bethesda, to me, is a second chance. Bethesda means family and brotherhood. Thank you.